We don't want to uh, give any headlines to anything, any energy. You mentioned earlier that you're going to stop making internal combustion engines. One of the big debates in the electric vehicle space is whether to allow bi-directional flow of electricity. In other words, the electric vehicle charges at night, but actually is able to discharge back into the house or into the factory during the day. Is that one of the things that Volvo is working on? 100%. And that's exactly the reason why a complete startup, if I put it as a definition of a department, I think it will be even too little to define this organization, but long story short, which is called Volvo Energy, which is responsible for construction equipments, buses, trucks, yards, motorboats, engines, and all the parts of the Volvo group, including the other brands, Renault, Mac, iShare, trucks, buses, I mean, everything which is a part of Volvo group. So that's exactly the reason why that department have been built up which is reporting directly to the group of the CEO. And uh, there's a massive, huge focus. It boils down to a little bit that I even didn't want to use the end life of a batteries or end life of our products because we don't want to uh, give an end life to anything, any energy. There are two components. One is the equipment, the machines that the company is manufacturing. Of course, even by using the vehicles, you can recharge the batteries. But even if you skip that part, uh, obviously, we would like to have the second life cycle, third one, fourth one. We have an ambition and even targets. I'm not going to go into the details here so much, but we even have a target to utilize all the batteries, all the energy components of all equipments that we do have and utilize it in the other energy sources, like on the solar panels, like on the turbines, so that we can become throughout the whole life cycle of the products that we are manufacturing, very much including our own offices, manufacturing facilities, factories, so that we can become self-sufficient. Goes back to the first question that you asked, are you there? No, we are definitely not there. But uh, not only the awareness, very solid, very tangible targets are in place. And I know the fact from myself, if I don't comply, if I don't execute in my teams, in my people, in our organization, then we will be punished big time.